Good evening, people Watch from a 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the Gospels in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life how do you come to that you admit you're a sinner in need of christ the moment you put your faith and trust in christ the moment you accept christ as savior not only are you saved but you are justified by the blood of jesus rapture ready which is going to happen at any time and sealed until the day of redemption which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation the Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you, uh, speak to you, teach you. The Holy Spirit will change you. He's your best friend. When I saw this article, not only did I laugh so hard, the water that I had in my mouth just sprayed everywhere. But I knew this was going to happen. And it's coming up for a reason. This is not a coincidence. Camel. Camel. That's what I call her. You can call her whatever you want. Don't get mad at me. Don't say, oh, we shouldn't just call. You know, you shouldn't just call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Camel. Says she is ready to take over as uh, president. If she has to. So this tells me right here that something is up. The first thing I thought of, something is going on. So the vice president, resident, Sleepy Junior or Sleepy VP, Camel, said today, that an important part of her job is the fact that she may have to take over if Sleepy is unable to complete his term in office. And that's what she is ready to do if so required. Why is this coming up now? Why is this coming up now? There's a reason for this. Like I said, it's not a coincidence that this is all of a sudden making its way right now I had said year a couple of, uh, maybe a year and a half ago and I actually said it in a video this was why he was elected in the first place it's because of her Harris was pressed on her readiness for the Oval Office during an overseas trip after she initially tried to deflect the question about Sleepy's age by pointing to his legislative accomplishments, which is uh, probably, I can count on one finger, none. Questions about his age often go hand in hand with questions about how you would step in the role if necessary. Do you feel prepared for that uh, possibility? Has serving as VP prepared you for that job? Associated Press reporter Chris Meg uh, Megajurian asked Harris. So she replied, she's 58 years old? I didn't know that. I'm sorry, I didn't know she was that old. I'm, I'll be 58 this year. Sorry. But anyway. She uh, is in uh, uh, Indonesia where she is representing Biden at an annual Association of Southeast Asian uh, Nations Summit. And how would you describe that process, the reporter asked. It says, well, first of all, I'm answering your hypothetically. 
but just to put it out there. Now she put it out there. Joe is fine. That's what she said. That's the first thing she said. So she said that's not going to come to fruition. It's not going to come to fruition, yet Joe is fine. But yet, why did you come out and say what you said? So the media knows something is going on, too. Again, this one that came out, if, if something wasn't there. But let us also understand that every bright, uh, vice president, every vice president understands that when they take the oath, they must be very clear about the responsibility they may have to take along over the job of being president. I'm no different. That's what she said. Eight of the 45 men who have served as president died in office, four by assassination and four from natural causes. Sleepy's all, already the oldest ever, turns 81 in November. She, that's true. Politicians in Washington typically refrain from engaging in hypotheticals about the potential um, death of elderly figures for fear of attracting criticism. This is not coming up for, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to say this again. There is a reason why this is coming up. There is a reason for this. Harris has even lower favorability ratings than Biden, according to Real Clear Politics average of recent polls. And I'll let you see this here. Biden is seeking a second term. Don't laugh. Please. <laughs> I really don't think the church will be here. Honestly. I personally don't think there's going to be an election. But, you know... A point of tension in their relationship is that I don't think that the president sees her as somebody who takes anything off the plate. Uh, due to a fear of messing up. It says, Sleepy vented to a friend about his second in command in 2021 after he heard that her husband, Douglas Emoff, was complaining about tasks assigned to her including mitigating illegal, uh, illegal migration and pushing for a federal voting rights. So Sleepy was annoyed, the book says. Of course. <laughs> says he was annoyed. I'm trying to see how this is going to play out. I, I'm, I'm really trying to see how this is going to play out. Because, again, and I'll say it again and again, this is not a coincidence that this article came out. I'm going to link this in the description box because that's about, it's often news break. Some, I, I had seen it earlier but one of my subscribers had sent it to me so I'm going to link that in the description box in the meantime this just came out on world Israel news now a plane carrying Israelis make make an emergency landing in hostile Muslim country An Emirates flight from Dubai to Singapore carrying um, a dozen Israelis on board 
was forced to land unexpectedly in Malaysia, a country with whom Israel does not have diplomatic ties and is considered hostile to Israel. The forced landing was due to severe weather conditions. Sure. During a five-hour sojourn on the tarmac, no passenger left on the plane. How convenient. Five hours. Wow. Israel's Foreign Ministry Director General Ronan Levy held situational assessments to ensure the safety of the passengers, a statement from the ministry said. Diplomats from Israelis' embassies in Dubai and Singapore worked with Emirates Airlines to safeguard the welfare of every Israeli. The statement said this happened. It came out uh, like an hour ago. Relations between Malaysia and Israel have been tense. Various Malaysian governments have expressed strong pro-Palestinian stances. The statement says, and have criticized Israeli police and actions. The two countries do not have embassies in each other's nations, and Malaysia has implemented some policies that restrict interactions with Israel, such as severe travel restrictions. Malaysia passports bear the inscription. This is what their passport bear. That this, <laughs> this passport is valid for all countries except Israel. Yet that flight stopped in Israel. Or that flight stopped uh, in Malaysia. Sure. Sure. This passport is valid for all countries except Israel. Israeli passport holders are forbidden to enter Malaysia without written permission from the Malaysian Ministry of Home Affairs. Last month, a flight heading from Seychelles to Tel Aviv, carrying 128 Israeli passengers, unexpectedly landed in Saudi Arabia, a country that doesn't have diplomatic ties with Israel because of a technical, technical problem. This is such BS. It's not even funny. Please. Please. I'm wondering if the two have something in common. This. And camel. <laughs> Just thinking out loud. And Samson would agree with me. Right? Sam? Sam? There you go. I'm going to link these in the description box and I will be back later. Thank you.